He says, it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift. Yeah. And were partakers and have tasted the good word. Yeah, that's very clear. So that's somebody who's talking about somebody that's saved there. If they shall fall away to renew them unto repentance. So once see. you've lost your salvation, that is it. You can't come back. Well, um, let's see. It's, it's very clear. It's impossible. Something's impossible. If they fall away to renew them again to repent. So once you lose your salvation, it's impossible to get it back. Luckily, we don't have to worry about that because we can't lose your salvation. So then why do you think he warned them about it? Because like... he's, he's, uh, Paul does this a lot. He gives the, he gives the argument, and then, he, and then he says, look, they say this, here's the answer to that. And here, that's exactly what he's doing. He's saying there's people that can lose their salvation. There's people that say they can lose their salvation. Here's the answer to that. If you can lose your salvation, it says the if there, if they fall away. If you can lose your salvation, you can't get it back. <laughs> So just ignore what those people say because you can't lose your salvation to begin with. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. So he's very clear. The, the, the verse is very clear there. If you lose your salvation, you can't get it back. So I guarantee if somebody could lose their salvation, that'd be me. I'd have done it already. I am so... I didn't deserve it the first time. I sure don't deserve it now. And when I get to heaven... I don't want to deserve it then either. <laughs> That's one of my favorite eternal security verses there. I guess that's a funny thing because uh, I mean because I think that what he's teaching is the exact opposite. He's warning yeah. them. Well, like I said, it's, yeah, it's falling away. It's it's very clear there. If you fall away, you can't get saved again. Right. Um, but that's that's uh, you know. And then he says a similar thing in chapter ten. But you can't say that he's teaching them that. That they can fall away again, because it doesn't say that they can fall away again. It says if they fall away again. So, yeah, if they fall away. So, so, you can't, nobody can claim that that verse says that you can fall away, because it says if. It says, so, there's no way for anybody to claim that. Okay. okay, well, I can, I, I, I think I can see what you're saying there. Um, and maybe, I, I mean, that's something that I need to look at a little bit more. Um, The, the trouble that I have with that is that there are other times that Paul warns against, um, like when he talks to the Galatians, mm -hmm. and uh, um, I mean, it'd be, uh, let's see. Well, I can already tell you the answer to that. He's, anytime the Bible says you can sin unto death or something like that, or, you know. Oh, that, oh go ahead. It just means physical death. Yeah, there's, there's a point if you keep on sinning with the Lord. Um, we'll keep. Okay. I mean, the Bible says that the Lord God will discipline His adopted children. I mean, okay. he's, he's not a deadbeat father. He's gonna He's gonna take care of. It. Sure. Um, what I'm talking about is actually something a little different. Where in I, it's Galatians five. Um, And so he's writing to, I mean, if you like look at the context of Galatians, he's writing to people who, who were Christians but who were being tempted to go back to Judaism. Mm -hmm. um, and so verse 1, he says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Um, behold, I, Paul, say unto you that if you are circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Christ has become of no effect unto you, whosoever of you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. Um, so, I mean, I guess what I'm curious about that, uh, uh, my question Yeah, there's that a lot of people that, that, that claim that that phrase there, you are fallen from grace, actually means you've lost your salvation. You know, the problem with that, of course, is it contradicts others, 
other scriptures where okay. it says we can't lose our so, salvation. So what can that mean? Then? Well, what what you need now for those people that say that falling from grace means lose your salvation, you need a you need a verse that says falling from grace means lose your salvation. But they don't have that. So well, what they do is they just suggest, you know, I suggest this verse means you can lose your salvation. The verses but, that we were looking at in John 4 and John 6, for us to conclude that that means you can't lose your salvation, we need a verse that says when Jesus says... No, no, no. The problem with that is we've got other verses direct support. I mean, especially from the Lord Jesus. Okay. Um, can we look at some of those? Can you show Yeah, I already showed you a couple. The Bible says, the Lord Jesus said, uh, you know, if you drink this water, you'll, you'll, but, um, you'll never thirst. But the same problem comes up with that as we have with this. There's got to be... Oh, well, let's, say, let's ask you this way. Do you think that there's people that's going to get saved and uh, still thirst again one day? Well, I, I mean, I, what Jesus is talking about in the context of, uh, I mean, John 4... Well, that's what we're talking about. We're trying to get the Lord... The Lord is trying to get inside of us. He wants in our heart. Right. And we, we, we take in the living water, we get saved. Uh, what, you know, I, I'm not so, exactly following you. Oh, that's okay. Well, let me, let me try again because I want, I want to make sure I'm understanding what you're saying. So, in the Galatians 5 thing, you said that in order for us to, to know that falling from grace means lose your salvation, there has to be a verse that says falling from grace means to lose your salvation. Mm -hmm. um, so, why, like in John 4 and John 6, where he says, those who, you know, drink of this water will never thirst again. Well, How do I know that that's talking about never losing their salvation if there's never a verse that says, never thirst, that says, you know, he who shall never thirst means he will never lose his salvation. We're, that's what we're talking about. That's what the verse is talking about salvation. It's talking about people that are going to be everlastingly uh, thirsty and people that are going to be under, everlastingly uh, not thirsty. Um, that, see, that's exactly that's, what the verse is talking about. It's direct. But he doesn't say that. I mean, he says, I guess what he says is, let's see. Whoever drinks of this water shall thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water I shall give him shall never thirst. He's trying but, to give that woman living water. Right. He's, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying but, to get her to ingest mm -hmm. his Holy Spirit uh, and save her. Mm -hmm. But... Well, the, I mean, the, the question that still comes up, at least for me, is, I mean, I can understand.